The American Red Cross states that every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Maybe you've donated blood in the past, or seen your friends do it, or maybe you're thinking about donating blood in the future. I personally believe that everyone should donate blood, especially those with rare blood types like O negative, like myself. <clears throat> um, the reason it's necessary for O negative is because they're universal blood donors, so anyone can use my blood. Um, today, I want to show that blood donation is safe, it's necessary, and it's charitable. Uh, let's look at how blood donation is safe. A new sterile needle is used for each donor and then discarded, so there's no chance of cross-contamination or infection from someone else. Um, according to the Red Cross website, each donor receives a mini physical, which consists of a temperature check, a blood pressure check, a check of your pulse, and a hemoglobin check. This is just to quickly make sure you're a fit donor without actually knowing any other information about you, like your blood type, if it's your first time, or if you have any diseases that they'll discover on your blood work. <clears throat> All donated blood is tested for HIV, hepatitis, syphilis, and other diseases. The results are then reported to you. If it comes back clean, they send you a donor card. Otherwise, they'll send you a sheet reporting whatever disease you have and need to get treated. Um, your body will replenish the donated elements in either days or weeks. Um, generally, you'll feel a little weird for a couple days. Um, you'll feel cooler. That's, that's the main thing I experience is I just feel cooler after missing a pint of blood. Um, but it'll go away in a week or so. Now that we know that blood donation is safe, let's talk about how it's necessary. Blood donation is necessary. The American Red Cross says that 41,000 donations are needed a day nationally. According to the centers of the blood, Pacific, blood centers of the Pacific, excuse me, one pint can save three lives. One pint is your average donation from one person, so one person's donation can help three people at any given time. Um, o negative is a critical blood need. With trauma patients, hospitals use O negative when they bring people in and they don't know what their blood type is before it's been determined, so that there's no rejection just based on blood or loss of blood. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a critical need for blood that can only be filled through charitable donations. Um, <clears throat> blood donation is charitable. The Giving Type website states that blood drives hosted by companies, schools, places of worship, and civic organizations supply most of the donations in the U.S. This is especially true. Most people know this just from being in high school or having parents that work for large companies or whatever. Um, like at our high school, we had a blood drive once a year. At Carolina, they have a blood drive once a year. Um, the main site's in the Russell House, the student union. I'm sure they do it at the remote campuses. Um, and my mom works for the local hospital, and they do a blood drive once a year there as well. Um, when you give blood, you give a life. And it costs you nothing but an hour of your time and a needle stick. I know a lot of people don't like needles, but it's really a small price to pay to help other people out. Um, the Mayo Clinic states that blood cannot be manufactured. It's just something that drug companies haven't figured out how to make on their own and replace. And there's really not a timetable on them figuring that out currently. You just have to go in, donate blood uh, when you can and if you can. Blood also cannot be purchased, and you cannot legally be forced to donate. Your company, school, whatever cannot make you donate blood. And if someone pays for your donation, it cannot be used by a hospital or any other person for a surgery or transfusion or any of that sort of stuff. <clears throat> um, clearly, at this point, you can see how easy it is to donate blood. You can see how easy it is to help other people. And you can see how easy it is to be charitable. We all want to do something for others during the coming holiday season. Um, we all want to beat Clemson and everything as well. Every year, the University of South Carolina does a blood drive in the week leading up to the Carolina Clemson football game. So if you'd like to get involved, donate to charity, donate a little bit of time, really, um, and donate to charity, and beat Clemson at something. I think we've won the last five or six years in a row at the blood drive. Um, just go in, sign up, donate a pint of blood, and go on about your day. 
in addition to helping other people out and helping us beat Clemson overall as a university, um, you'll get a cool blood drive t-shirt. Um, the American Red Cross states that if you begin donating blood at age 17 and donated every 56 days until you reach the age of 76, you would have donated 48 gallons of blood, potentially helping save more than a thousand lives. Please donate blood and go Cox. I'm just turning it on myself. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know how to do it when it's hot. Swing it around. Audience for today. <laughs> <laughs>